Brothers and sisters, as was mentioned earlier today, we are celebrating communion together. And just a reminder, if you have children at home uh, and they understand in their own way uh, the truth of who Jesus is and what Jesus has done for them, then they are welcome to come to the table as well. Uh, and what do we mean by in their own way? Uh, not that they can believe anything they want, but rather that they understand at a level that is appropriate for their age. So a five-year-old would understand probably differently than a 12 or 13-year-old would understand. And so if you have talked with your children and they understand uh, that Jesus is the Son of God, that he loves them, that he came for them and, and came for to save them from their sins, and to build with them a, a good relationship with God and with their fellow human beings and with this world that he has given us, then they also are welcome to come to the table. Now remember, this table, this communion service is very much like the season of Lent and the season of Advent in a way. In this communion celebration, we have both repentance and grief and sorrow along with righteousness and holiness and forgiveness and victory and joy. They are all together. For in this feast, we recognize that Christ has come, that Christ became one of us, that Christ laid down his life for us. And, and we grieve because that, that life-giving was partly necessary because of our sin. But we rejoice because it was given freely because of Christ's love for us. And we celebrate because in it, Christ did not fail. Christ won the victory over sin and death. So, let us join together. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right for us to give thanks and praise. Let us pray. With joy we praise you, gracious God, for you have created heaven and earth, made us in your image, and kept covenant with us even when we fell into sin. We give you thanks for Jesus Christ our Lord, who by his life, death, and resurrection opened up to us the way of everlasting life. Therefore, we join our voices with all the saints and angels and the whole creation to proclaim the glory of your name. Amen. We give thanks, brothers and sisters, to God the Father that our Savior, Jesus Christ, before he suffered, gave us this memorial of his sacrifice until he comes again. At the Last Supper, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. For whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. In a like manner... After the supper, he took the cup and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim our faith as signed and sealed in this sacrament. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. Let us pray. Lord our God, 
send your Holy Spirit so that this bread and cup and those bread, <laughs> that bread and cup at people's homes may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. May we and all your saints be united with Christ and remain faithful in hope and love. Gather your whole church, O Lord, into the glory of your kingdom. We pray in the name of Jesus who taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Congregation of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord has prepared this table for all who love him and trust him alone for their salvation. All who are sorely, truly sorry for their sins, who sincerely believe in the Lord Jesus as their Savior, and who desire to live in obedience to him as Lord, Lord are now invited to come with gladness to the table of the Lord. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take, eat, remember, and believe that the body of our Lord Jesus Christ was given for the complete forgiveness of all our sins. Take, drink, remember and believe that the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ was poured out for the complete forgiveness of all our sins. Praise be to the Lord our God, who heals all our diseases. Let us forget not his benefits, for he is the Lord. Let us sing our praises to him, brothers and sisters. <laughs> 